At the Carbon War Room, we focus and concentrate on looking at the global economy and identifying sectors of that economy where carbon emissions could be reduced at the gigaton level while creating great business opportunities. So why shipping? It's a billion tons of CO2 and on course and speed to go to a billion and a half. The sixth largest country in the world, if it was a country, and there is $70 billion a year in fuel that the shipping industry could be saving itself. There's a number of technological interventions that could be being made, harnessing renewable energy, wind, uh, solar, things to do with reducing the hydrodynamic drag on the hull itself, the improvements to the propulsion systems. Why isn't that happening? That was the problem that basically Carbon War Room set out to solve. Around 70% of the world's fuel bill is paid for not by the ship owners or operators, but by the charter or shipper. And the charter is largely uninformed in terms of which vessel to choose. One of the ways in which we dismantled the information barrier with respect to which ships were more efficient or less was by setting up the website www.shippingefficiency.org. It allows a corporation who is about to lease a ship to see what the efficiency rating is on that ship. The second stage was then nudging with sharp elbows to the demand side and saying, how many ships are you doing that is currently Fs and Gs? If you cut them out, you'd save carbon and you'd save fuel and save money. And actually two of the world's biggest ship charterers, Cargill and Huntsman, have just signed a pledge not to use ships that are Fs and Gs in our rating system. That's immensely exciting. Choosing the more efficient vessels available to us we are making strong statement to the market. We hope that this action will demonstrate to ship owners that they can and should do more in terms of efficiency and that the market will reward them. Once those two pieces were in place, our focus is on getting capital and technology onto vessels. We've been working with some fantastic partners from multiple stakeholders, including the charter market, owners, banks, insurers, and the clean technology companies at CCW in Berlin to see if we can devise a finance model whereby multiple vessels could be upgraded with the finance in place, the insurance in place, and we could see a catalytic change in the way the existing fleet um, retrofits. Uh, bringing together relevant people from the industry to better understand what can be done on these ships, uh, what's worth uh, investing, uh, that is something which can uh, effectively move forward things a lot. Our ambition for the two days at CCW is nothing short of having individual stakeholders that want to take this forward to sign a pledge to develop a consortium around self-finance and fuel saving. Uh, this is just one fantastic example of what's, what's come out in the last two or three days. I think that with uh, the, the kind of German determination and German mentality, I think we can not just be a, a talking shop, these can be put, put into practice. <laughs>